picture photo. Right? Your praises to your about Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. The problem is the apostles of great mercy do not do well. It's an addition to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. It's Makazar from the Trinidad camp. We do a little edification. Alright? Uh, but we see, you know, a couple years back, the apostles, you know, the you know, apostles uh, said that America will be destroyed before year 2000. Alright? And, you know, we're still here 2017. Um, you might see the years coming up. I mean, 2010, I say, hey, America might be destroyed in 2013, but we're still here. But guess what? America is going to be destroyed. Esau's kingdom is going to fall. All right? And by we say, hey, America might be destroyed in 2018. That is just us looking for the haste and looking for the days of the Lord. But guess what? That also is a stumbling stone and a snare until the people that the Lord don't want. Hmm. Because that will make them run out of fuel. Alright? Because faith is the fuel that powers this engine. Alright? That will make them run out of fuel. Proving that they never had faith in you. Alright? So I just want to go through some scriptures real quick. This is Daniel chapter 10 verse 1. It says, In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was Belshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. So yeah, the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. Apostle Taylor said, before the year 2000 America, we, well, during that time, he said America did not be destroyed by the year 2000. The thing was true, but the time was long, so it wasn't that time. But I don't mean that what Apostle Taylor said was a lie. Huh. And I don't mean when we come out here on the highways and byways saying that, hey, America gonna, might be destroyed this year, my, America might be destroyed that year. Or, since our Bivens, we've been saying that hey, America gonna be destroyed, the so-called white man gonna go into slavery along with the other nations. But yet we still here and all things continue as they will. That don't mean the ain't gonna happen. The time just long. But hey, guess what? The time ain't long no more because it, you see prophecies unfolding and the time close. We just don't know because that the scripture says secret things belong to the most side. Huh. So it, 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 it's, it's only a matter of time, but guess what? It will come. All right, just like he said that with Daniel. All right, it will come. It just, it just, um, the time was just far. All right. This is Second Ezra, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. The Lord is saying these words are faithful and true, meaning what? They will come to pass. Mm. Alright? They are faithful and true. The, with Jonah, the Lord told Jonah that he ate, hey, go and speak unto the people and the because he purposed to destroy it. And Jonah went. And the Lord, when the Lord word, when the Lord's word was heard, the people and the never repented. And the Lord repented of the evil. So the Lord stayed back the evil. And Jonah got angry. But when you read the book of Tobit. Guess what? The destruction of Nineveh came, but it came many years after. It came many, many years after. So the Most High, the Habashim Yashai, the Lord don't lie. When He says something, it will come. Because, you may read it. You may read this. He says, Tobit. Um, Tobit chapter 14, verse 4. Go into media, my son. For I surely believe those things which Jonas the prophet spake of Nineveh. It shall come, it shall be overthrown, and, and that for a time peace shall rather be in Midian, and that other brethren shall lie scattered in the earth from the good land, and Jerusalem shall be desolate, and the house of Yahweh shall be burnt, and shall be desolate for a time. So Tobit told Tobias, hey, he believed the things that Jonah spake and it will come. The river will be destroyed. And guess what? Tobit didn't even see the destruction. His son Tobias saw the destruction, which was many years after the prophet Jonah spoke. So guess what? Not because we've been speaking probably since the time of um, Apostle, um, Abba Bivens until now. And to you, to you wicked ass people, you people <laughs> lacking faith. It seems like hey, it ain't gonna happen. Guess what? Once that the Lord bless with the spirit of faith, with the spirit of faith, 
and the gift of faith. We know that it can come, so that's why we're holding fast to this truth. We're holding fast to what we have, so that at the end we're going to be crowned. Scripture says the hidden mystery that reveal in us for our glory. It's going to be revealing us for our glory because we held fast state, because they are faithful and true. All right? This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah 46 verse 9. It says, remember the former things of old. What is the former things of old? The prophecies. All right, the books of the prophet. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. How? All right. And from ancient times, things that are not yet saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. But how the Lord declared the end from the beginning? Look, look here, little example. How the Lord declared the end from the beginning. Um, this is Jude 1 verse 14. And Enoch also, seventh from Adam, which was thousands of years ago. Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesy of these, saying, Behold, Yahweh cometh with the ten thousands of his saints. So we will try to say that Enoch was a lamb, because guess what? Enoch was translated. Came um, Samuel, came David, came Solomon. All right? Came Yahweh Shai. We went into slavery. We came here prophesying now, I guess what the, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai ain't come with ten thousands of his saints. Does that mean Enoch was lying? Hmm. It written, so you believe Enoch's word. So why not believe ours when we are the prophets reincarnated in these last days to prophesy? It will come. It's just a matter of time. It will come. Alright? It will come. So the Lord say he declared the, the, the end from the beginning because the prophet has been prophesying the same thing from way back when it's just the same prophecies coming back over and over all right this is second peter second peter chapter 3 verse 3 knowing this first that there shall come in the last days corpus walking in their own lust so yeah like the young girls who know coming in this faith not because you might hear somebody say on the highways, hey, these men been out here for years saying America gonna be destroyed and nothing happening. Hey, don't, don't pay no mind to them. Don't pay no mind to them. Because guess what? Noah prophesied for years and guess what? The, the, the land was destroyed. So Noah wasn't found alive. And we prophesied for less years than Noah. So guess what? Noah was faithful. And he was rewarded for his faith by being saved him and his household. And that is how our faith is going to be rewarded. Salvation of our souls. The scriptures talk about that. Receiving at the end salvation of your souls. By holding fast to this word. Verse 4. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were. From the beginning of the creation. So that is what we score first thing. They say, nah, hey, let, me, let me just no drink and, mer and make merry. Because guess what? These people prophesying. Yes, nothing gonna happen. Everything continue as they will from says my forefathers. Alright? But this is what they, 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 what they do, do is, is examine the time. This is Joel chapter 1, verse 4. Verse um, um verse 2, my bad. Hear this, ye old men, and give ears, all the inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers, so had the mark of the beast been in your father's days and implantable chip that you could buy and sell and it could be tracked all over the place had that been in your father's days no it hadn't been it's, it, in these times a couple of years back america and russia had good ties but no those ties breaking was, was that in your days did not the scripture see the lord in ezekiel 38 the lord gonna put hooks in your jaw i believe it's ezekiel 38 and 4 the lord gonna put hooks in your jaw and pull it back was that in your days? No, it wasn't. But it was given unto the prophets to examine the time to break down these prophecies. Because really and truly, the prophecies are for us. But we prophesy out there to the wind so that when the judgment come, the Lord justify with all that he done because you people are wicked. Mm. So the Lord want to be justified. So you cast the Lord, we never receive warning. You receive warning, you just need to believe. 
so that is for your downfall but for our glorifying all right it's saying for since the um where's the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning you understand that is why it goes on to say for this they are willing the ignorance to the lord speak but guess what it's, the prophecies were for many days were for many days the lord prophesied from since i believe it's deuteronomy 18 by the mouth of moses that yahweh shall will come and that was many days after the lord said i will raise up a prophet out of your brethren but guess what i was talking about yahweh should have came met up over that was over 1400 years when the lord prophesied by moses all right over 1400 years that prophecy was fulfilled so it's it's, it's the, the scriptures say all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness all right so just hold fast to this truth because guess what don't it tarry wait for it and i'll bring out that scripture to close off all right this is habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and how answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time appointed time means the time is not yet but at the end it shall speak and not lie don't tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so guess what the prophecy is gonna come so just wait all right so don't tarry wait for it don't worry about people saying hey we've been out here prophesying for years and all things continue as they will don't worry about that no one was doing the same thing all right so it's only a matter of time before these things pop off and guess what the Lord gonna come and take his anointed his elect out of this wicked and God forsaken place so let's hold fast so with that I'm gonna give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai give double honors to the apostles of great mills to not rule well salutations to the men of the hopeland saints say elect say shalom